So I want to uh, try one of my, my little boards out here. I've got a AT Tiny 3216, and I will need to surface mount uh, a part on. So I'm going to be using my, um, get it out here, I'm using my little uh, uh, hot plate, which is great for little projects like this. It's super teen tiny. Okay. So let's get him plugged in with a USB-C. Um, beep, beep, beep. Okay. And then we will take uh, some solder paste here. Uh, I use these um, syringes by CML Supply. This is Kester, Kester whatever it is, Kester EP256. This is the stuff with lead in it. Um, and then I'm going to do this without a microscope just to see if I can. And you're just going to squeeze a line of solder for each row of pins. And you don't need a lot. I usually get a little too much once in a while, but you can clean that up after you do it. So, all right, there we go. Now all we need to do is drop this bad boy on there. So make sure pin one is pin one, and line it up, and bombs away. Look at that, no tweezers required. I'm gonna push down on it a little bit, and then that is pretty darn close. Let me shove it over just a tiny bit. So there we go, we're ready to go. Now we can put it on the hot plate. Put it up here, and let's turn it on. And what do we have the temperature set to? I think that's, I think that's set to 210. I wanna go up to 220 at least. Set it at 220, let's see how that does. Then you could just uh, watch. <laughs> it's like watching grass grow. Should be a little, a little bit faster than grass. But... You're gonna watch the solder paste and it will start to dry out and then it will be kind of develop a, a, a gray color. And then at some point in time, it will start getting shiny little beads of solder everywhere. It happens pretty fast. Uh, I see a little bit of smoke coming off now. That's just the um, flux boiling off of the uh, solder paste doing its job. Flux cleans the metals and reduces the oxygen content around the, the joint and makes everything want to stick together. Oop, there we go. We're starting to get solder, solder beads. That side looks done. This side's taking a little bit longer, but nope, it's going now. And it is pretty much done. Give it a couple seconds here. Everything looks melted, so I'm going to grab it and pull it off the hot plate. And then I will turn off the hot plate. All right. I don't want to burn my bench. Let me move it over a bit. There we go. That was it. So super, super easy. Once it cools down there, we'll take a close look at it and see if we have any solder bridges. I see one on this side, but we'll take a, I see one there too. Let's take a quick, a close look. All right, there we go. Um, we have one little solder bridge in there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach in with some uh, solder wick right at that one little spot there and we'll see if we can pull him out. Now when I use solder wick, um, I like to put a little flux on the solder wick. All right, so I'm going to put a little dab of, there we go, a little dab of solder uh, um, flux. 
a little bit of solder flux on there and reach in and bang a little bit more there we go I got that one out and on the other side you're not gonna be able to see this but on the other side I have another little bit there that needs going let's get rid of him and we're done all right, so um, on this particular board, I knew I was going to be using it with these AT Tinies, and so I put on the back a location for a uh, bypass capacitor between pin 1 and 20. So let me get out one of those. All right, so we'll have to do this one old school with regular solder. So we'll put a Blob of solder on one side. Find us a cap. Let's see, here's a point one. We'll use that. And then uh, hold the cap in location. Let's see here. Oops, popped up. Shoot. Don't worry. You can always rework these things. Yeah, there we go. And then I'll put a little solder on the other side. And we are done. All right, now we need some uh, header pins for the proto board. And uh, we'll be all set. All right. Um, so I'm going to be using this proto board just as a soldering aid. It holds. It holds the two uh, headers, and then I can put my board on there, and it will all be it will all be nice. It won't move around on me, and then I can just uh, solder it down. And there we go. I removed the flux with some uh, flux remover and uh, it cleaned up real nice. And there we go. Now we have a uh, part that we can use in a proto board and we'll be set to go. The nice thing about these is that you can hang, uh, hang, hang this part off of the uh, proto board and now uh, you have maximum area here for your, for your circuit. So that was the whole intended purpose of these little boards. All right, if you're interested in these boards, I've got 14 pin, 16 pin, and 20 pin versions available over on PCBWay. So yeah, go check them out if you want.